Hey, what's up everybody? APOC here. Sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video, but uh, I finally found enough stuff and enough content to put together to show you my newest, latest, and greatest pickups. Um, kind of a little bit of everything, a couple trades, a couple thrift store finds, uh, something on offer up, just kind of a little bit of everything, but you know, not too bad. Um, so let's get into the first thing that I found and I picked up over the last couple weeks uh, was an offer up deal. Uh, there was a Sega Genesis, I believe four, five, six, seven games, uh, two controllers and the hookups. He was asking $60. Uh, there was four games that were boxed that I really wanted, asked if he would take $20 for the four games. He said he didn't want to split up uh, the lot. So I came back and I said, would you do 40 for the lot? Uh, he countered with 45 and I'm not going to argue over $5, so I went ahead and did the, uh, did the deal. Um, came with the console, like I said, two three-button controllers and the hookups, a loose cart of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, Street Fighter two Champion Edition, uh, cart and case, no manual. Uh, I do not have those. I actually traded those along with another game I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, the other games that came in the lot that I ended up keeping were Chameleon Kid, Loose Cart, uh, Road Rash 3. This one is just the case game only, no manual. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 which I thought I had, but I do not. I only have the first one. Game, no manual. Uh, X-Men, which I was actually super stoked to get this. I remember playing this a lot back when I was a kid. This is one of the very few games I had for the Sega Genesis when I had mine back in the day. Game, no manual. And X-Mutants. And this one has, is, was the only one that had the manual, manual and game. Um, along with the Sega Genesis and the two games, I traded that, and I'll show you right here, um, was a copy of Super Smash Bros. Melee for the uh, GameCube. It was really bad water damage. The case was like glued, or the cover art was glued to the case. And the manual had lots of water damage, along with the disc, I'll show you right here, was just insanely scratched. Although, it did play. I went ahead and played it for probably about an hour or so, just to make sure everything was good on it. Went ahead and played, no problem. So I traded that in the Sega Genesis for $30. And 10 more cases for the Nintendo 64. Now I think I'm positive 21 cases on how many I need. For my collection so that was awesome i was super stoked to get those don't really come across them that often actually this these cases here and the last lot of cases i picked up were from the same guy uh, a reseller uh, that's in my area that i kind of trade with and stuff so um i owed him like 20 bucks too so that was kind of why it was the case is 30 dollars and then the 20 dollars i owed him for that stuff so not too bad. I was just super stoked to get more of the cases. Found this at a Cash America Pawn. Um, normally I don't find a lot of GameCube games when I do go to pawn shops. Uh, if anything, normally I pick up like PS3 games that I kind of want to play because that's the one console I have hooked up. I watch Hulu, Netflix, and stuff on a lot. Um, but if there aren't GameCube games, I do go through them. Usually they're garbage. I did find one today that was just... I don't see it all that often. The cover art on it is awesome. I loved the movie back, uh, I don't know, probably in the early 2000s, late 1990s, um, and that was Spawn. So this is Spawn Armageddon. Look at that cover art. I think it's badass. Freaking sweet. It is complete. Discs in pretty good shape, just a couple minor scratches. Manual's in awesome shape. Picked it up for $4.99. So not too bad. I think it's like a $10 game or so. Um, but I saw the cover art, and I just thought that was pretty kick-ass. So, I actually think I might put this in the uh, the old GameCube and give that a go tonight. Kind of looks pretty sweet. 
And then, uh, like I always say, I don't really collect for the PS2. I only have two games for the PS2. Um, but I couldn't pass these up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and hang on to these. Almost solely because I love Resident Evil. And because these games are, like, immaculate. I rarely find games in this good a condition at the thrift store. Value Village had these today. They were $3.99 a piece. Just beautiful condition. You never come across games there that are glossy. You open it up, the manual, the game shines, you look at the disc and you're just like, holy shit, that game is beautiful. I mean, it's just gleaming with awesomeness. I had to get these games. I have, I, I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. They're just too good. Um, when I got those GameCube games that were just beautiful, I, you just gotta hang on to games like that. I don't mind paying kind of what they're what they go for and or a little below what they go for to just get games as beautiful as this um so enough of that here they are resident evil outbreak like i said complete just gorgeous i don't know if you can see that look at the gloss on that manual disc is just beautiful it's hard to see but just gorgeous Resident Evil Code Veronica, Resident Evil X Code Veronica, again, just gorgeous, and Resident Evil 4. Complete, complete, complete. So, couldn't pass that up for 12 bucks for those games. That's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much everything I found the last couple weeks. It's been a hectic last couple weeks. Uh, the wife kind of got injured, messed up her knee a little bit. Um, so I've been taking over a little bit more, helping the kid get around to um, school and that type of stuff. Along with the work schedule and everything else I got going on, haven't had much time for video game hunting. So the little pickups I did kind of made the last couple weeks go a little easier. Uh, appreciate everybody for watching. Definitely thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, if you guys could like the video, comment down below. Always subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.